Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. Mother Theodore Guerin Parish. Let us pray and celebrate our risen Christ as we begin our fourth Sunday of Easter. Please stand. Sing praise to our Creator, redeemed of Adam's race. God's children by adoption, baptized in living grace. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity. Holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. To Jesus Christ give glory, God's co-eternal Son. As members of His body, we are in Christ made one. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity. Holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. Now praise the Holy Spirit poured forth upon the earth, who sanctifies and guides us, confirmed in our rebirth. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity, Holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. Good morning. We begin then with the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, it is the fourth Sunday of Easter. It is the Good Shepherd Sunday. And on this Sunday, we experience our Lord who takes care of his flock. He is indeed the Good Shepherd. On this Sunday too, we are invited to pray for vocations. Vocations to priesthood and vocations to religious life. Let us pray for young men and women who would like to serve the Lord in this special capacity. As we prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask for pardon and strength. You have come to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have come to save sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. God Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins. 
sins of the world receive our bread you are seated at the right hand the right hand of the father have mercy on us glory to god glory to god glory to god in the highest and on earth peace on earth peace to people of good will for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father glory to god glory to god glory to god in the highest and on earth peace on earth peace to people of good will let us pray Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved, then all of you and all of the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Our psalm response words are the stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give praise to the Lord for He is good. His mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust, trust in man. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. I will thank you for you have answered and you are my savior. The stone that the builders rejected 
has become the cornerstone, the stone that th did by the builders has become the cornerstone, the stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. the builders rejected becomes the cornerstone chosen praise the work of God for his marvel in our eyes hallelujah 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 be with you and with your spirit. a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Jesus said I am the Good Shepherd a good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep a hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away and the wolf catches and scatters them this is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. They also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. When I think about the Good Shepherd, the image of a caring shepherd who offers his life is what comes to mind. And maybe you have seen a, a video 
there's a video that um, a, the young impala is trying to cross the river. And as uh, this little impala tried to cross the river, a lot of crocodiles start moving in. And uh, this little one just comes around the middle of the river. The mother from the other side decides to jump into the river, getting all the attention of the crocodiles towards her. And all the crocodiles come to, they come to the mother and the little one is able to cross to, cross, um, to safety. She gives her life she sacrifices her life for her little ones. And that's what the Good Shepherd does. Offers his life for us. As I said at the beginning, on this fourth Sunday of Easter, we celebrate the Good Shepherd, the Caring Shepherd. Also, we pray for vocations, vocations to priesthood, the vocations to religious life, and we pray for um, young women and young men who would, who would want to, to serve the Lord in this capacity as religious sisters, religious brothers, priests. Jesus is our role model. He takes care of his flock. Christ the Good Shepherd he loves us and cares for us. And today we are reminded if we obediently continue to listen to him, he will lead us to safety, to our destination in heaven. In the first reading today from the book of the Acts of the Apostles, we, we hear how St. Peter testified through his miracle and testimony that Jesus is the good shepherd who cares for his flock. It is his wish to heal us. So as his flock, he will heal us at all the time. He watches over us and he guides us through the path, different path of life. He cares about us. Whenever we call upon him, through prayer, he listens. So today we are reminded to come for him for healing. The apostles were very much aware of the divine and protective presence of the Lord, the Good Shepherd. So whenever they were in need, they turned to him for prayer. Peter testified to this as he said, it was by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is the only one who can save us. There is power, there is salvation, there is healing in the name of the Lord, who is our good shepherd. In the second reading, we hear about one essential attribute of Christ the good shepherd. That is love. St. John reminds us that, behold, the great love that the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called the children of God. The only love compar comparable to the, to the good shepherd's love is the mother's love, the mother's love for her baby. Christ demonstrated this love for us by offering his life as a sacrifice and ransom for our salvation. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. So my dear friends, we must emulate Christ as our model to love one another and care for each other. In today's Gospel reading from the Gospel of John, Jesus tells us, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd is the one who lays down his life for his sheep. I know my own, and my own know me. They listen to my voice. We learn two crucial lessons 
from this passage we heard today. The first is the role and the characteristics of a good shepherd. And the second one is the duty and the response of the flock. The good shepherd knows and takes care of his flock. He is patient. He loves and never harms his flock or sheep. A good shepherd is readily available for his flock. He is ready to make sacrifices for their good. On the other hand, a good flock listens to his shepherd. It obeys his instructions and follows him with trust and confidence. In other words, there must be a good relationship and understanding between a good shepherd and his flock. The celebration of Christ the Good Shepherd today reminds that all of us, we are shepherds as well as flocks. This is because each one of us is occupying a leadership position of some kind. So we are good shepherds. And we can find one among ourselves. We can find a good shepherd in an honest president or governor or a caring priest or a good mother, a caring mother, a caring father. We can find a good shepherd. We can find a good shepherd in a very humble and God-fearing youth, in a devoted brother or sister. We can find a good shepherd in a, a very just and res a respectful police officer. Whenever there is a, a good and caring doctor or nurse or a teacher, a good cook, a cleaner, a gardener, they are good shepherds in every capacity, in whatever you do, in whatever little capacity you do. You are a good shepherd. We are good shepherds. And the Lord has entrusted, entrusted us with the duty to care for others in that little capacity. And let us do that with love. My dear friends, finally, Today, the church provides us another beautiful opportunity to pray for the Holy Father. We pray for the Holy Church, and we also pray for families. And we also pray for world leaders, leaders of all nations, that they may be good shepherds to the people they govern. With our hope and confidence firmly placed on the risen Christ, we pray today, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Now let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Mac of heaven and earth. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead in the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now offer our petitions to our Father in heaven. For Pope Francis, the church's bishops and pastors, and all who shepherd the people of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer for leaders of all nations, that they will strive for peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all who do not know God, that they may come to hear the shepherd's loving voice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For farmers and agricultural workers, that their work be fruitful and their needs cared for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, especially those listed in our parish bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, especially Rita McCormick, Joanna Kaminsky, that they may be gathered into the loving embrace of the Good Shepherd, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions for which this Mass is offered, Andy Murphy, First anniversary, Helen McCormick, Anna Puchnars, Tony Flando Sr., anniversary, Caterino Monteroso, Frank Pudlow, Solomon Guerrero, anniversary, Andres Milkowski, anniversary, Joseph Slasky, birthday. Joseph P. Bosco, birthday. Paul and Nina Insolia. Brad Stewart. Frank Lucchese. Ada Lopez. Wally Ann Wisniewski, for health. And Father Paul Burek. We pray to the Lord. we we'll hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken, and unspoken. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we entrust our prayers to you. May you answer them according to your will. We pray all these through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for your continued support to our parish. Thank you so much for your donation and for your generosity. Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me, shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine, fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, Spirit, blaze, set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. Lord, I come to your awesome presence From the shadows into your radiance By the blood I may enter your brightness Search me, try me, consume all my darkness Shine on me, shine on me 
Shine, Jesus, shine, fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, Spirit, blaze, set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when suppose ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never, per never permit me, me to be separated from you. Amen. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love, God of life. Faithful and true is the word of our God. All of God's works are so worthy of trust. God's mercy falls on the just and the right. Full of God's love is the earth. Rain down, Rain down, rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love, God of life. We who revere and find hope in our God, Live in the kindness and joy of God's wing. God will protect us from darkness and death. God will not leave us to starve. Rain down, rain down, Rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love, God of life. God of creation, we long for your truth. You are the water of life that we thirst. Grant that your love and your peace touch our hearts. All of our hope lies in you. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, Rain down your love, God of life.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. These are the weekend's announcements. We are sharing a St. Cyprian tradition with the whole parish. Consider enrolling a woman, living or deceased, in our special Mother's Day novena. Pick up an envelope in the back of the church and complete inst the instructions and return it to either church or offices by May 6th. All the names will, will be placed in both churches and your loved one will be remembered in prayer at Masses for nine days beginning May 11th. May crowning will be May 2nd at the 9 a.m. Mass at St. Cyprian and at the 10.30 Mass at St. Celestine's and will be live streamed. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Now let us go to love and serve the Lord. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad, let all creation sing. Let children proclaim through every land, O Son unto our King. Sound the trumpet into the night, the day of the Lord is near. Wake your people, lift your voice, proclaim it to the world. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad, let all creation sing. Let children proclaim through every land, O Son unto our King. Rise in splendor, shake off your sleep, put on your robes of joy. And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad, let all creation sing. Let children proclaim through every land, O Son unto our King. Raise your voices, be not afraid, proclaim it in every land. Christ has died, but he has risen, he will come again. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad, let all creation sing. Let children proclaim through every land, O Son unto our King. Thank you. Thank you.